forms need validation to prevent errors and in our project we are going to integrate React form with Zord to handle this. React hook form is a form library that simplifies form handling while Zord is a schema based validation library. So in my terminal I run the command pmpm pm, install Zord and React hook form. Now the last package that we need to install is the hook form resolvers library and this library acts as a bridge between react hook form and various validation libraries like Zod in this case. So I'm also going to install the hook form resolvers. Now that we have all of these packages in our project, we are now ready to connect our form to React Hook form and set up form validation. So I start with the personal info form right here. At the top of my file, I'm going to import use form and submit handler from React Hook form. Now this use form hook is the main hook from React Hook form. You know, it manages form state and returns several utilities like register and handle submit. I'm also going to import Z from Zord. Z is the main object in Zord. You know, Z provides methods that help us to define and validate our schemas. The final thing we need to import at the top of our file is the Zord resolver. So I import Zord resolver from hook form slash resolvers slash Zord. So the Zord resolver, you know, connects Zord to React hook form. It tells React hook form to validate form data using a Zord schema instead of just writing manual validation rules. Now we have all of this imported at the top of our file. We need to define the structure or the type of the form data that we'll be using. So this is our personal info form. And at the top right here, I'm going to define all of the data. So we're going to use interface and just call this form values. Now the first name, I'm going to make this a string. It's going to be a string. The last name similarly is a string. Email address is a string. And phone number is also a string. After defining the types, the next thing is to set up the Zord validation schema for my form fields. So I'm just going to call this form schema. I'm going to use the z.object notation. For the validation of first name, it's going to be z.string. Dot mean one and then the message says please enter your first name so this basically says that this first name cannot be an empty string it must have at least one character and it shows this error message please enter your first name we're going to do similarly for the last name And this will be z.string, specifying that it needs to be a string. The minimum is going to be one character. And it's going to have an error message that says, please enter your last name. For the email address, I'm going to validate it by saying z.string. And since it's an email, we're going to specify that the value should be an email. For the phone number, we set up the validation schema as z.string. Um, the minimum character is 10 with an error message that says, please enter a valid phone number. We've created the form validation schema using Zod. And now within our component, we're going to set up React hook form. 
So I'm going to extract a couple of things right here from the use form hook. So let's see what we can extract. Register from use form. It takes the form values. I also pass in the resolver as the Zod resolver. I'm passing the form schema. So I'm grabbing register from this. I'm also grabbing a couple of things like the handle submit. I'm going to grab the form state. Use form from React hook form removes the need for us to use, you know, use states to track form inputs. And we also use the register function right here to tell React hook form which specific input fields that it needs to track. And that way you don't need to manually manage state or event handlers. You just register the field and you're good to go. So we'll be doing this shortly. Handle submit ensures that all the fields are validated before submission. Form state stores all the validation errors returned by Zod. If there's an error when filling the form, it provides instant feedback to the users. Now beneath here, we need to define a function called on submit. And this function will run when the form is submitted. So we use the submit handler to define this. Pass in the form values. It takes a data and for now, we're just going to console.log this data. Let's tie up React hook form to our chakra field. We pass the invalid pop here and specify that this should be for errors dot first name. Now chakra UI allows us to have a field dot error text component. So I'm going to add in the field dot error text that literally just renders the error when there's an error on this particular field. So that's errors dot first name if there's one and then render the message. That's about it. Now let's register the input with React hook form. And to do this, we're literally just going to spread register, call it and pass in the first name. Repeat the same things for the remaining fields. So for my last name, I pass in the invalid pop. Last name. My input, pass in the register function. This would be last name. Register. Email address. And finally, for phone number, I pass in the invalid pop and specify that this should show when there's an errors dot phone number. Add the error text. Change this accordingly. Link our React to form with Chakra UI and specify the field as phone number. Now that all of this is done, we need to pass the unsubmit prop to our form. So I pass unsubmit and I use the handle submit that I extracted from the use form hook. And then I pass this unsubmit that I created right here earlier. This way, we've been able to connect our React hook form to the Chakra UI form that we already created and also ensure form validation. So I'm going to repeat this same process for the remaining forms for my working for form and the more details form. If you need reference, feel free to check out the GitHub repo. This is how the more details form looks like with the validation setup and the React hook form setup. And this is the work info with all of this setup as well. One quick thing we don't want to forget is to add use client at the top of a file. So I'm just going to add use client here and also add this to all the other 
from files um, use clients and use clients here as well in the next video I'll show you how to render each of these forms as steps using the steps component from Chakra UI.